What's up guys, Sal here. So the Pixel 6 series has given us one of the best smartphone cameras and this year Google is set to keep up with the trend with the Pixel 6 handsets. We already know the camera hardware of the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. If you don't know, here are the specifications. But now we also got the software features of the Pixel 6 camera thanks to some code found in a leaked version of the Google camera app. The first one is Magic Eraser. Suppose you've taken a group photo with an unwanted photo bomber or a cityscape shot that was almost perfect if it weren't for that one person in the shot, the Magic Eraser feature could be the solution you didn't know you needed. Thanks to AI-based image editing with the help of TensorChip, you can now remove subjects from an image with just a few taps. This feature is already seen on the Galaxy S21 and it does a decent job of removing objects. Google also showcased this feature at their I.O. event back in 2017. At the time, the example used was a fence that got in the way of someone taking a picture of their son at a baseball game, all with the magic of AI. Google has focused heavily on machine learning and AI with the Tensor chip, so if the Pixel 6 can actually remove stuff like this without leaving any blurred patches, then this will rank among the best camera features of the handset. The second is Face Deep Blur. Google is attempting to fix a common photography problem with the Pixel 6, blurry faces when people are in motion. When a user attempts to photograph a person in motion, the Pixel 6 will capture a photo from the main sensor with normal exposure while also taking another photo with the ultra-wide lens using a much faster shutter speed. The Tensor chip then processes the details from both cameras to de-blur the face. Next is Motion Blur which will let you add creative blur effects to your photos. Then there is a wide-angle front camera. Pixel 6 Pro, not the Pixel 6, will have an ultra-wide-angle lens for the selfie camera. According to XDA, the selfie camera on the Pixel 6 Pro offers two predefined zoom levels, 1x and 0.7x for wide-angle shots. Then there is zoom levels, Pixel 6 Pro will have a 4x telephoto camera and the photo zooming maxes out at 20x. As for recording video, all cameras on the Pixel 6 and Pro can record 4K videos. However, only the main camera can do 4K at 60 while other two cameras are capped at 4K 30. Also while recording 4K at 60fps, the maximum zoom level is 7x. Next, both the Pixel 6 handsets will feature audio zoom which is the ability to zoom in on a subject in order to enhance the sound coming from it in particular while reducing background noise as much as possible. Google is also working on better skin tone mapping, particularly when it comes to folks with darker skin tones. Then we have Baby Mode. We still don't know exactly what this is, but XDA suggests that auto capture feature on the Pixel 6 will be able to recognize babies playing around and automatically take photos of them. And there is Frequent Faces feature which looks to be graduating to version 2.0 which should help the camera better focus in on faces that you regularly take photos of. Finally, there are these features called Scene Log and Nema Aesthetics. We don't exactly know what these features are, I guess we'll have to wait and see. In any case, do consider subscribing for all the latest Pixel news and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.